All right, this time we are going to one-shot this, I swear, and I'm going to get the Elite Challenge because just going through the compound and not doing any other secondary loot, if you get to the secret room first couple of tries, it'll easily be within 15 minutes. You will not get discovered. Once again, I use the long pin. You can use the Kosatka. I just don't like the Kosatka mission as much as I like pulling the um, the long pin with my Phantom Wedge and, and destroying everybody around the area with the Phantom Wedge. So I use the long pin every time. Plus, if I ever do need to get secondary loot outside the compound, I can do that. doesn't matter where your exit point is. We're going to swim. Uh, time of day doesn't matter. That's your preference. I've done night. It's kind of cool, but... Weapon loadout, use the aggressor with the suppressor so you can kill the darn juggernaut. I tell you, anyone who says, you know, there's a glitch where just randomly people get discovered, need to consider every guy they kill and just find a niche sometimes, if you don't believe me, and just watch the, follow the path of the juggernaut. Watch his route and watch him do a lap. Any spot on his route, if you kill a guard, and you would let him do his, his lap without killing him, he will discover that body and he will raise the alarm. Uh, killing the Juggernaut ends all that. So if you're going to kill anybody um, in the compound, you've got to be you got to make sure that either you're going to kill the Juggernaut or that the Juggernaut will never discover them. Otherwise, you have a limited time because the Juggernaut only takes so long to complete a lap. You need a complete circle every time and again and again. And if he completes the circle, gets back to where he started and, and you've killed a dead body in his path, you need to get out of the compound before he, he gets there. So I don't even bother with it. I just kill the darn guy. Shoot him in the back. He's gone. He can't do anything on for you. And, or, and you're good to go. I, uh... With the aggressor guns. And the opportunities... I want to go straight. Come on. With the aggressor guns and, and the opportunity to shoot him in the back early on. It's just, I don't see any reason to let him live. And of course, the wall glitch. There's a painting in the main office, which you will get, I have to get first, because you you got to get paintings before gold. And in the wall glitch, it's not much, but there is a, a stack of gold. A painting and a stack of gold fills your bag. So that's all the loot we need to to get about full bags. Is in the, uh, the, there we go. Is in, is in the, uh, the wall glitch. So we don't need to do any loot outside the compound because it's just a waste of time. And with the elite challenge, you only have 15 minutes, so you gotta choose your time wisely. I'd rather choose my time to have a few chances to get the wall glitch to work. See you in the maintenance room. It's always if you are pretty quick. As long as you trigger the event to go up into the uh, compound before your energy, before your, your health kills you, you'll surface with full health. So it doesn't matter, you know, that you get low or you're getting low. You can use a rebreather if you want. It doesn't hurt anything. Um, but you don't need to if you, uh, unless you dawdle. That's the key to this is be deliberate. Dawdling uh, for no reason. In certain places, it just doesn't help you any. And this is one of those things. Your energy goes down and you will drown if you don't get to here. Trigger the event. Once you trigger it, you're good. Can't drown. So when I get up, I'm going to put my mask on by going... Uh, uh, hat or whatever you want to call that, the, the four button stick to the left and I'm going to go straight through, not going to waste any time. Don't need to kill anybody right off the bat. You want to go right fast because right at the beginning is the perfect conditions. That's why you guys skip this guard, there's no reason to kill him. Perfect conditions to run straight through to the archway, what I call the archway. And then, good, now no one's going to see you. Put on your gun, shoot the camera, and then kill this guy quickly before. But be deliberate. You don't let him live. If you take, if you don't take enough shots, and he gets up, you're screwed. So just keep shooting three or four shots until there's no chance he's alive. And there we got our key. Now this guy's still facing away. Just go up and kill him. Some say 
uh, I mean, that if you kill him by the gate, he'll get discovered later on. I don't believe so. I've never had that happen. So I just go up here and just put bullets in him. Make sure he doesn't get up. Don't take four or five bullets, whatever it takes. Don't take a chance. Make sure your gun is loaded because we gotta. You don't want your gun to have to be reloaded in the middle of killing a guy, or he might raise the alarm. No reason any of these guards live. These four guards can all die, and no one will ever see them once we kill the juggernaut. And the juggernaut we're going to kill in just a minute because, because we can and should, because then no lap he ever takes will be of any danger. I'll wait for this guard. So again, just put bullets in him. Oh, I had to reload at the wrong time there. That's why reloading is dangerous. And we don't need to go up into the office yet. We want to get the juggernaut killed while we, before we forget. So don't waste time. Kill those four guards, go straight down, hop into the trench, and finish the juggernaut off right now because he's coming through. So we wait down in here for him. As soon as he passes, and be careful, wait till he passes the fountain to make sure you get a clear shot. He won't turn around. So literally, wait till you get a perfectly clear shot, aim, auto aim, and just put bullets in him, three, four, whatever it takes, make sure he's totally dead before you leave him because once again he will sound the alarm if he has even the tiniest bit of health left and can get up so just want to be perfect wait till he passes the fountain aim put the freaking bullets in him no chance of getting caught he's done there no more guards and none of these guards will ever see you you can now play around in here for an hour hours you can try the wall glitch again and again till you get it right I kid you not, you are never going to get disturbed once you kill those four guards in the juggernaut. There's no glitch, there's no accidents. The juggernaut is a huge part, I think, of people getting caught in the compound. Because his big laps hit a lot of guards that you would, might have had to have killed. Here's our painting. And if we can get the wall glitch within the first time or two, We'll easily be able to get out of here without even being detected in 15, less than 15 minutes. With a full bag of loot, because this painting and almost a full uh, uh, stack of gold is all you need to fill your bags. Now remember, you always get the painting first if you have a painting in gold, because if you get gold first, you will not be able to grab a painting. For whatever reason, it doesn't work. It tells you your bags are too full. Let's get what's in the vault. And then we have some gold, which will fill our bags the rest of the way. I don't use that elevator. I hate the, uh, the having to do the uh, fingerprint sensor multiple times. To get the key, you don't need to. So we're going to go down here to the wall glitch. First person. And now that I've been practicing this a lot, the key is to be to be, to be very subtle. You can go slight, a little bit of left and a little bit of right when you jump. Just the tiniest tap to the right of each, I think, seems to do it. It's not about time, about to speed. You can take your time. Go in here, make sure you're facing perfectly into the corner, and then jump and up. Stick to the left, stick to the right. Oh, not right. Nice side, man. There we go. First try. I one shot at it finally. So you, you, if you practice it enough and you, you do it regularly, you will you will get to you where, where you can do this pretty much every time. Just a slight left stick and right stick to the to the right, and you gotta be perfectly perfectly into the corner is best. There we go, there's our gold. This will fill our bags, and now we don't need to provide any other secondary loot. Just go get our primary target. Guards will respawn, but I've never had the guard attack any of the guys that I've just killed. Um, so I'm going to see this time if I'm missing anything, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to go up this way, because to, to the left is the, is the, uh, the office. You don't want to go any other direction where there's guards. But yeah, I'm pretty sure there's no chance of them seeing the guard that's in the, by the gate there. Some say... Some say that this guard here uh, will be detected. We'll find out if you kill him like right at the gate. I have never had that happen, so I don't believe it'll happen here. And the juggernaut never goes up there. So if you kill that guy and you do let the juggernaut live, it's fine. Because the juggernaut doesn't ever see that body when it's in there like that. So I like to put, kill him right at the gate, at the, uh, what I call the gate overlooking the exit. So use the key to unlock here. Then we can do the easy peasy fingerprint sensor. Even on hard mode, I think this is actually hard mode if I'm not mistaken. Uh, you got to do it twice, but even then it's still much easier than four times or three times with the um, with the uh, upstairs one. So if you don't get the key, you got to do the upstairs one, and that's fine. Um, but usually you're going to get the key by one of those guards that we've killed. Yeah, 
minus 1. Well, maybe it's not hard mode. I guess it can't be. I, I, I didn't play since the fit for a day, so I guess it shouldn't be. So we're going to one-shot this, man. We're going to have a perfect uh, elite challenge without, without dying at all. Here, burn the lock, and you're gonna get to see it live. I'm very happy to have this video. This is I don't I can't see anyone proving wrong that there's an easier, quicker way to do this. I've seen people give say there maybe this is quicker, but they end up messing around in the compound before um, getting secondary loot, or they um, mess around after leaving the compound trying to get secondary loot. What a what a waste of uh, of time and effort when. When really you can get all your secondary loot right in the compound. Grab the treasure and just get the heck out of here. So of course we leave the exact same way we came. Don't need the gun when we're uh, escaping here. We only need it when we get to the guy that uh, has the bike that we're going to use to get to get away. Well, up here, guards respawn, but there's nobody for them to really find. Go up here if you want, or you can go around. Don't need to kill any other guards. People west around killing the guy up the stairs and stuff. I don't know why. You literally just run here and you're done. You don't need to kill anybody else. There's no reason to go up the stairs and kill that guard or four guards, one juggernaut. Kill the guard by the bike, and that's it. No other guys to kill. No more time wastes. Anyone who does anything else and tells you this is the fastest method is kidding you and wasting your time. As long as there's enough loot. In the office and underground, there's, uh, or in, in the secret room, sorry, there's no reason. There's no reason to do it any other way. And we gotta kill the guard with the bike. We want the bike for a quick escape. No reason to drive around and, and be silly. Get to the guy with the bike. End his miserable existence. Make sure he's dead. Hop on the bike. Now, going sideways is harder. So you might want to go north. So don't, and then make, just make sure you don't you run into this guard's vision. You shouldn't. It's plenty of room. And then just run to the water. If, if, if a body gets discovered at this point, it's totally irrelevant. Drive to the water. Pop off the bike and... Put on your rebreather. Swim to the bottom and just swim for it. That's it. it you're done. Nowhere near 50 minutes. If you're at the bottom of the water, if, no matter what happens from here on in, they can't hit you. On the bottom of the lake, there's not a, a missile that can possibly penetrate the water enough to hit you. So you just ignore the people on top and swim until you don't need to swim no more. Just make sure you hit left to turn your rebreather on, of course, uh, whatever, you want, whatever that direction or the four button stick is. Make sure I'm hitting the right way. Yeah, the trench, there it is. Gotta make sure you're heading away from the island, that's the key. Otherwise, you're wasting time and exposes some risk. As long as you're at the bottom of the water though, with the rebreather on, you're, there really is very little risk because, like I said, they can't penetrate the water. They can uh, act like they're going to follow you to the end of the earth and like they're going to kill you all they want. Down in this trench here or down at the bottom of the lake you are on, or ocean, you are untouchable. And this should be an elite challenge with because it's only the tequila, I only have 1.49. I usually get 1.4, 1.6, or 1.7, or 8 with the most of the rewards. Tequila, unfortunately, if you do it enough. Oh, see, he tried to shoot me. <laughs> Didn't get me. Just keep swimming, and you will win this thing. It can't get any easier. So yeah, if anyone tells you there's an easier method, they better be able to explain how doing anything more than what I just did is easier cause, <laughs> and quicker, because... I sure can't, I sure haven't seen anything easier from any of the videos I've watched. I can't say these are my methods, I've got them all from watching various players. But, um, they are true. <laughs> and they're easy, and if I can do it as a bad, I call it a bad player 0303, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not a great video game player, if I can do it, anyone can do it. And I should say Elite Challenge, right? Yep. Woohoo!
The challenge complete. Extra money in the pocket. There they go. Don't even tell you there's an easier, quicker method. There just isn't. That's the way to do this heist. The only time you do anything different is if there just isn't anything good in that uh, secret room. Learn the secret room glitch. Learn to kill the juggernaut every time. It's easy peasy. And you'll be a happy camper. And virtually every time you do this heist, you won't have to miss the elite challenge. You won't have to worry about dealing with anything outside on the compound. If you want to use the Kosaka rather than the uh, the long fin, that's fine. That's just my method. I like the I like the mission to get the the long fin better. But and then of course you'd be a little quicker because the you just have to swim straight out of the Kosaka to the train range ditch. But the boat just goes a couple, a minute longer. It's not really an issue, so I'm fine with that. Yeah, a person can say it could be faster. You could use the Kosaka. Yeah, that's correct. But I I, I don't care about that. I mean, it's not going to affect me any. <laughs> So anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching. This is Bad Player 0303, aka Bad Player 03 on YouTube and a lot of other gaming channels. Daniel Daniel Jobber on my usual PlayStation channel where this video will be up. Uh, thanks for watching. You can follow me on Instagram under Daniel Daniel Jobber or at Daniel Daniel Jobber, all lowercase. That's D A N I E or I M A L D A N I E L J O B B E R D A N I M A L D A N I E L J O B B E R, and you can follow me on Twitter at Daniel Jobber, capital D, capital J, and you can email me at Daniel Daniel Jobber at gmail.com if you uh, have any questions, suggestions, or just uh, want to follow up on anything I've done here. So thanks for watching, and we will see you in a future video. Oh, and of course, uh, if you like this video, and uh, a like and a like would definitely be appreciated, and a subscribe would be awesome too. I don't get, I'll have a lot of subs, so.